So my name's Sally Boyd, I live in Birkenhead, but I work in Liverpool. Well, I'd say from a very early age, from around about 12, when it was noticeable, I suffered very low self-esteem. Um, I was very uh, a fearful child. Um, I didn't like being on my own. I always needed someone present. Um, and I was always fearful that something bad was going to happen. Um, so I had a lot of anxiety. Um, and I really did not do well at school because of it. Because I struggled in school with the work. Uh, I struggled making friends um, and I just felt uncomfortable in my own skin and I was fearful of life itself and I didn't particularly want to be here. When I was around about 12 I started experimenting with alcohol. I didn't know, I don't remember my first drink but I do know that when I took a drink of alcohol it took all that away, it alleviated it all. So from that point I wanted to drink on a nightly basis basically with my friends and from the word go I'd say I wasn't in control of alcohol it was in control of me. I didn't have a very good relationship with my father who was very critical of you, um, very verbally abusive plus physically abusive um, and I think you look upon your parents don't you that to get that love and nurturing. My mum was you know my mum did her best that she could and she was loving and she cared for us but my dad was very much a bully and intimidated us and would force you basically to tell the time but instilled that fear inside you that if you didn't get it correct you got a punishment which was a slap. Once I took the first drink I didn't know when to stop. I'd say I was existing, not living. Um, I didn't have any joy or happiness within myself. I was just plodding along and doing the normal things that you know looked normal. I uh, got into a relationship very, very young um, and I was very much, because of low self-esteem, I, I always managed to pick unhealthy relationships, which again confirmed to me what I already believed about myself, really. Um, and that's when my drinking started to really, really um, get out of hand, where I was physically withdrawing. So I needed the morning drink and things like that. My anxiety, my panic attacks were um, coming more to the front, if you like, because the alcohol stopped working, stopped fixing that uh, internal stuff. I never, I never ever thought I was an alcoholic. I just thought it was these other problems in my life that I needed to fix, but incapable of a fixing. Well, the start of my recovery was AA, which was to help me get sober. But the other things that I was talking about, my low self-esteem, my anxiety and panic attacks, that's where group work was um, beneficial. The likes of Recovery College, where it's a group setting and you're meeting other people who've got the same experiences. Because I dealt with my anxiety and self-esteem and that with alcohol. But other people deal with it in other ways. Recovery College is about, you know, you're learning about yourself, you're learning about what you suffer with, you're learning about coping strategies, but healthy ones, you know, and um, different, you know, workshops, different things that you can try, because one thing doesn't always fit others. And I found by understanding about anxiety, panic attacks, and what is so low self-esteem and how it affects you and your thinking and your behaviour and your avoidance strategies. That's when I begin to help myself with the help of others to address these things. It helps you eliminate the fears around anxiety. And when you're in a group setting, you share sharing experiences with one another and learning about what is it you suffer with. and how is how can you help yourself to overcome these things on a daily basis? You know, I would advise anyone who suffers with any um, mental health issues to seek that support and seek that help. Um, and it's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, it's not a weakness by asking for help. It's a strength. Because once you're aware of something, that's when you can make changes. If you're unaware, you don't know what you need to change. I am not the same girl. I was many, many years ago. I've just, honestly, I feel like I've been re reborn.